say hello to the new iPhone 13. Like the previous year, we've got the 12 Pro, Pro Max, the 13 and 13 Mini. With increased battery life, performance, new displays, colors, improved camera systems. With cinematic mode and sensor shift on all devices and macro mode and 3x telephoto on the pros. With ProRes RAW video coming later on, it did seem initially like this was only a small refresh from the 12s. But I was actually quite surprised to find out this was more of an upgrade than I originally thought. So testing out cameras on the new iPhones is obviously something that I love so much. So we're gonna start by doing that first. So the cameras on both Pros and both 13s are identical. So either one that you choose, it's gonna be the same. With the iPhone 13 Pro, you'll have the 3X zoom. But on the iPhone 13, there is no zoom on this. So that would be the reason that you would choose the Pro. So for the sake of this, we're gonna test it out using the pink iPhone 13 and the Sierra Blue 13 Pro Max. On the iPhone 13, here's the wide angle and the 1X. So on the iPhone 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max, there was a camera difference. So you had to choose, do you want the sensor shift technology and the two and a half time zoom? This time, you don't have to choose. Thank you, Apple, for making them consistent across the board. Let's, uh, let's take some more photos, shall we? things that I'm so impressed with is macro mode and this is exclusive to the 13 pros this will basically just auto switch into macro mode and you can get about two centimeters away like look at this color look at this detail and if you think that this is something that you could do before you're absolutely wrong let me show you so if I try to do this on my 12 yeah that looks great really good content very clear crystal clear no <laughs> So the fact that we went from this to this, if that's not a reason to upgrade, but this is a pretty big one. I'm super impressed. This also works with video. So this is video. Look how close I am to that. <gasps> no freaking way. What do we think? Is it focused? It, it actually locks, yeah, you can go closer. Right there, keep going closer. You can, wow, go closer. Really? Yes. Oh my god. But it's Shut in it. my eye! That's great. Ew! It's so disgusting. Ew! Ew! I don't like it. It looks like it's like a tarantula coming out of my eyelid. So this is a 13, which it does not have macro mode, so I just want to show you in case you think that I'm lying about it. No macro mode, it is not focusing. All right, we have found, we found a bug. Next time we're gonna do macro content, remind me not to drink like four cups of coffee. the new iPhone 13s is there's a new cinematic mode and this is across all four iPhones so no matter which phone you get this mode will be enabled and what's really cool about it is it kind of emulates the way that filmmakers create videos a lot of films and movies and music videos and even my own videos are all shot on cameras with large sensors with high-end lenses and these things can get very 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 expensive so what's amazing is the fact that Apple has been able to kind of integrate all of these filmmaking techniques and even get this really cool bokeh look so so the real question that I have though, do you think A is the iPhone or do you think B is the iPhone? I'll leave it up to you guys. Leave it in the comments below and you can check Instagram and Twitter for the answer after this video is posted. The cool thing though about cinematic mode is you can actually go in post and edit the aperture. So I can go in and decide if I want more or less bokeh. And to be able to do this on the iPhone is pretty impressive. Also using AI, it will decide what should be in focus. This is a really cool demo that I did in Panera where I was talking to Jake super casually, not planned or scripted at all and watch how awesome this is. It started focusing on me. As soon as I looked back, it focused on Jake and then back to me when I turned back around. Impressive.
realized there was cinematic front facing camera. What? Cinematic front? No way! Oh my, I'm freaking out. That's crazy. I've had this phone for way too long at That's this point. I should have noticed this. This new display looks incredible. Not only does it go all the way up to 120 hertz refresh rate, but it's also much brighter. And in sunny situations, I'm always outside filming. I've already noticed a huge difference. So I do have both versions of the Pro. This is the Sierra. This is the new beautiful blue color. And this is the gold. The gold actually looks a little bit different than the previous version, like iridescent kind of gold color on the back. And then obviously around the edge, it's super shiny. But these both look so good. Also, because we're running iOS 15, I forgot that they have the live text option. Watch this. Oh, emergency uh, after hours. Let me take a picture of that. And I'm going to copy that phone number and I'm gonna call them. Ready, paste. Uh, yeah, so my emergency is that I'm so incredibly impressed with the new iPhone 13 that I might need some sort of resuscitation. Do you guys offer that kind of a service or what do you guys do? I think a lot of people sometimes forget that the pro version of the iPhone has the ability to shoot raw photos. This is actually incredible because you're able to shoot photos, you can edit them however you like. The iPhone automatically already takes really great photos, but sometimes they do have a little bit more of an over-processed look. So with raw, you can make them look however you want. Another really cool new feature that I wanna show you guys is how you can now swipe to customize the looks on your camera. And this is amazing because if you have a certain look that you like, I love super vivid contrast saturation all the way up if you haven't noticed so with this I can actually set that as a custom preset and all of the photos that I take will automatically be taken like that I've been having so much fun testing out these phones and now it's time to make my little iPhone rig I'm gonna be testing out a couple of different things but doing this allows me to kind of get the same shot from the same angle at the same time so we can really assess what's going on for this test I'm gonna try the 13 Pro Max against the 12 Pro regular and the difference here is in the 12 Pro this one did not have sensor shift technology so I want to kind of see what the difference is as far as stabilization and I'll show you guys the difference in the zoom as well let's take it to the streets or sidewalk oh <laughs> I did not see you there wide now the 12 was a fixed focus so the 13 this close-up little leaf right there that's all in focus and you'll see over here on the 12 even if I tap to try to focus it cannot like all this stuff is in focus on the 13 that's impressive this is video that's also shot on the mini but also shot on the pro max look at you cool truck okay one X zoom Oh man, that 3X really gets us that detail. Now let's see what it looks like if we do a digital zoom all the way into 3X on the mini. So you'll be able to really see the difference of optical versus digital zoom here. Let's zoom in even more on that 13 Pro Max. So that's 9X digital versus 3X digital on the mini. Should we get some ice cream? Probably. I have Apple Pay hooked up now, so. I wonder what else I can buy with Apple Pay. So the new wallet actually has Find My integration, and this is pretty much very similar to the previous version. It looks the same, feels the same, except for this. I haven't set it up yet, so you guys are witnessing this for the first time. There's my wallet. It is connected to the back of my phone, and when I unlock, I can add it in so that I'll be able to find my wallet, which is really convenient since my last wallet got stolen. This is cool. Let's see if I lose it, if I'll be able to find it. I'm gonna go give my wallet to this nice gentleman over here. Could you hold my wallet? Sure. Just, just, I'm gonna come back for it. I'm gonna find it. Okay. And act like it was missing. Is there money? 
<laughs> Do you want some ice cream? Oh no, my kids are in there. Okay, the thing is I just ate lunch and I don't really want ice cream, so maybe I can buy somebody else's ice cream. Look, I just got a notification that said Justine's wallet was detached. My wallet was left near here. Look at that, there it is. It just got drizzled. It's so cool. Can I buy their ice cream for them? Get whatever you want. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I got to buy her ice cream. Okay, here you go. Now I gotta go find my wallet that I gave this man over here. Yes! Back on. Cool. Wallet test complete. You know what else? We can do cinematic vertical. It's a thing. I think the best thing about cinematic is being able to adjust the aperture afterwards. This is giving an all new meaning to fix it in post, which I hate to say and I also hate to hear it. how impressed I am with this macro mode. Like it's honestly so incredible. The other thing that I've noticed is it does feel like with HDR4, the colors and everything are so much more vibrant. I'm able to really be backlit. The iPhone 13 is making me so angelic. with the 13 and the 13 Pro Max. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had the best time ever, of course, as always, reviewing these phones. There will be more videos to come, so make sure you subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video, and be sure to leave me some comments below if you guys have any questions or anything that you would like to see me test out in the next video. And now, cue the sunset time lapse.